Okay. Uh, thanks, thank you, Nathan. Thank you, Adam. Yeah, it's okay. When at the end, it'll be so simple. At the end, but I have to go through all this to kill the globe. I must go do this in the way I'm doing it. Okay. When measured correctly in the horizontal, every degree of measurement along the Earth's surface will equate to 60 nautical miles and or 69.04 statue miles. But this is only if these measurements are made in straight in the straight on horizontal and not as an arc length or a circumference. Unless your straight on horizontal measurement is a straight line distance that is 3,440 nautical miles. And this then becomes the radius of your arc length or circumference. And then you will have a correct nautical to statute mile conversion rate of ratio, sorry, of 1.158 around your circumference. As pi is 3.139542, right? That's pi, more or less. So, but the point I'm making there before I go on is that the only way you can have a correct uh, uh, measurement with a sextant or whatever, and, and that and that and that is then 3,440 minutes of degree or nautical miles, then it will convert the statute miles. The radius and the circumference will both con convert correctly at the ratio of 1.1508. But that is the only real world, real world. Uh, example of where it actually happens. That would be the only way it can happen. There is no other way it can happen. That is the only way, mathematically, that you will get you, you will get the, that to happen, uh, where the ratio will be will it be will will form nautical statute will fit both the radius and the circumference. Because it's normally only the radius, and it, but in this one instance you have the radius and the circumference. But the radius, and this is the important part, must be measured horizontally along the surface of Earth and not come from the center of a sphere. That's the important part. Because that's not an article by measurement. Okay, so as pi is 3.139542, pi is a bit of a funny number. There's actually 18 numbers in, uh, in some of the references to pi. If we take our 3,440 R, which is our radius, and double it, we will get 6,880 D, our diameter. And if we then multiply this by pi, we get 21,600.04896. And if we then multiply this by 1.1508, we will get 24,857.3363.43168. Right? Just putting in all the numbers for people who want them. The point being here that the globe Earth's equator distance somehow, question marks, seems to be just the correct size for the nautical to statute with my conversion ratio of 1.1508 to match. But there was no measured horizontal surface distance radius measurement in nautical miles to convert to the statute miles claim of just under 3,959 miles. So the point I'm making here is there is no radius measurement to support this claim. That's the point. Right? Somehow the globe's equator matches this perfect. And this has been used, and I've heard this countless times since 2015, about how around the, around the circumference of the globe uh, the, the nautical, the statue, it just matches and, you know, it all, all goes so perfect. And this has been kind of a globe claim for a long time. Um, but it's not. It's actually a destruction of the globe, but you'll see at the end. All nautical mile distances are measured horizontally upon the surface of Earth. And if the globe Earth does not have a horizontally measured radius that was measured along the surface of the Earth that supports their equator length, then their equator length claim is false. Horizontal measurements don't and can't exist on a spherical surface. So the above paragraph is an oxymoron, as what the globe requires, it can never have. So it can't have what it needs to, to make that claim. So before I go on, the only way for us to have, I have an equator line that is 24,857 uh, uh, statute miles around is for the straight line distance between the GP point of Polaris and the equator be 3,440 nautical miles. But it's not. It's 5,400 nautical miles. 